Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Bryce with BIS Media, and I'm excited to show off and review another budget 4K TV, the Hisense A7, which might be just what you're looking for. In case you missed it, I reviewed another budget 4K TV, the LG UR9000, and I'll have that link in the top right corner if you'd like to go check it out. And before I show you what comes inside the box and my thoughts on the Hisense A7 4K TV, consider hitting that subscribe button if you enjoy content just like today's video, liking this video to get this out to more people, and finally clicking the notification bell to be notified of all my upcoming videos. So let's see what all comes inside the box with this budget Hisense 4K TV, and then we'll jump into the review right after. Let's go. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing of the Hisense A7. And as you can see, this is just the 43 inch model. We just got a small model for my wife and I's bedroom. We didn't need anything too big and fancy in there, but you can go all the way up to a 75 inch if you really need that extra size. So the first thing we're going to pull out of the box is the legs there. So the legs, you can just screw this onto the bottom if you're going to put those onto a TV stand. We actually just wall mounted ours, so we didn't even need those. So I just kind of kept those off to the side. And then it also comes with the manual, power cord, and the remote. It's always great to see a paper manual, albeit it is pretty thin. That's how most of them are nowadays. <laughs> and then the TV itself, so it just kind of comes in this little styrofoam plastic wrap. And there is the TV itself, guys. So, all right, that's all the unboxing. Let's go ahead and get into the reviews and my pros and cons of this TV. The heist kept it pretty simple and nothing too fancy within the box. But what it really comes down to is how well does it perform? Budget TVs are always hit or miss, as many of you all well know, and I can say it's, I've been pleased with this TV so far. The first pro that comes to mind with this TV is the price. If you're not wanting to break the bank for a new 4K TV, then this should definitely be a serious candidate on your list. It's often on sale and is currently going for around $249.99 for the 43 inch that I picked up from my wife and I's bedroom, or you can go all the way up to a 75 inch for under $700, which is absolutely a great deal. Also keep in mind, TVs are constantly going, going on sale, so you can grab these for even cheaper than the regular listed price, so it's not a bad deal whatsoever. The second pro that made my list is vibrant colors. This TV is marketed as having a wide color gamut, and the colors do pop well, as this TV also can get plenty of bright. Many budget TVs suffer from dull colors and trying to overcompensate with insane brightness, but this TV has seemingly been able to do well both and produce accurate and rich colors for the price. This is by no means a mini LED or OLED caliber TV in terms of color accuracy, but it does look nice and again, impressive for the price. You can really see it show off when viewing a colorful animated movie or a TV show such as a Disney title. And you can load up a Disney title or whatever you like to watch rather quickly with this TV as the third pro to make this list is the interface. The Hisense A7 utilizes the Google TV Smart Platform and in my short experience using Google TV based TVs, I've grown to really love them. The platform seems to be snappy overall, and the A7 is no exception. There's a little bit of no pause when it comes to powering on and selecting what you like to watch, which is great to see because more often than not, budget TVs are on the sluggish side. And surprisingly, this TV moves more quickly than my LG OLED, which costs more than double the high since A7. If that's not a pro, then I don't know what else is. Speaking of the interface and the technology behind this TV, I'm also thoroughly impressed with its HDR formats. And the Hisense A7 supports all of the major, major HDR formats on the market, such as HDR10, HDR10+, Dolby Vision, and HLG. I find this to be a rare occurrence with cheaper TVs because most of them are capped to HDR10 or HDR10+, which is fine, but if you're a video file who wants the best, then you'll be drawn to something that can handle Dolby Vision as well. And if you're heavy into watching movies, especially 4K UHDs, then this TV will likely cover most of the bases that you're looking for, is it's also capable of outputting DTS Virtual X surround sound from the built-in speakers as well. And then lastly, to wrap up the pros, I can't leave out arguably the best part about this TV, and that being the picture quality. When you're looking for a TV, picture quality is usually the first thing that captures your attention, and more than likely, it's the main thing you care about, and the A7 definitely delivers. Pairing this along with the boasted wide color gamut, the TV truly delivers a sharp image and it really shows off its 4K capabilities. If you were just looking at the screen blindly and didn't know it was a Hisense or its price tag, I think you would truly think this was a higher end TV. As cheap as this TV is of $249.99 for the 43 inch model, I highly doubt you will find something better for the price that displays as well as it does and have all the features that it does as well. This TV is truly a great deal, hands down. 
Now, I'm not saying this is a perfect TV just because of its price tag and letting everything fall to the wayside, as there is one major con that should be notated. Let's get into it. There's one main caveat that bothers me with this TV, and if you don't have a high-end TV like an OLED or a mini LED, then you're likely to have this problem, with that being black levels. The A7's panel is direct lit, which could be worse like an edge lit TV, but it does cause blooming around bright objects on dark backgrounds. This isn't a big deal for a bedroom or as an extra TV for company, but it's hard for me to recommend this as your main movie or game playing display. Now, I know not everyone pays attention or may not care, but I thought it was surely worth mentioning. Overall, I have almost all positives to go along with the Hisense A7, so I'd recommend it to someone looking for a great picture, less than $700, and a quick and snappy interface. I'd be hard-pressed to find something better for the price, so unless you're looking for something high-end and want to spend the extra money to get there, then the Hisense A7 will more than likely be a good fit for you. If you'd like to check this TV out from, for yourself, I will have my Amazon affiliate link in the description and the pinned comment. I receive a small commission if you make a purchase using my link, so I would greatly appreciate it as that money helps find videos just like this one. So what are your thoughts on this TV after this review? Are you willing to give it a shot? Or are you looking for something more high-end? Let me know in the comments. Alright guys, that officially wraps up this video, so if you found this helpful, then be sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for all my upcoming content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video.